Okay, we are, this is Friday now, we're out on French Creek, just started it, it was 20 miles from the campground, 21 or so, 5 miles past Castle Valley, and uh, we're out here today, Arnie and Rhonda and the commander, they're all loaded up, looking good, they got all the gear. Eric decided to bail on the bike and rent a Polaris. And uh, I was number two. He decided to rent a Polaris so him and Grandma are in the Polaris so she could come along. They got kind of a clapped out razor, but they're going to enjoy it. Yes, sir. I believe the official count was 38 crossings. And, uh, looks like there's a little bit more water than day in there. Caught a little woolly on that one. That front tire up, we're gapped out pretty well. There's this pretty dusty portion here. Nice sunny day today so far. It is about 57 degrees. A little, uh, I think it got down to 40 last night. So a little colder night. Try to get my angle of the dangle just so with the camera. I'm assuming Eric's not going to stay in back for very long. His patience should run out within a few miles. And he'll be looking to pass. Some fairly tight turns. You gotta stay focused. Can't be daydreaming looking up at the rocks all the time. It's hard not to though. It's pretty sweet. I missed that one. Washed my boots off. So, I think it's about noon. I think, uh, we should meet head on with the rest of our guys. They were going to go up. Uh, they were going to go up and do top of the world and then come back down through Onion Creek. So we decided to go this way and meet them halfway or whatever. Steve O's buddies were coming up from Denver, I think. And so I should have a group of five or six riders. All smokers for the most part. But. Oh. 
ate at that blue pig last night. Oh my goodness. That was special. Pig wings, chicken wings, fries. The fries are just unbelievable. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, well, as you can see, that was a Toyota Venza, so it's a pretty tame trail down here. But very, very scenic. And the further up you get, the more the onion smell comes out. I think it's really strong right towards the end where there's, I think it's sulfur or something coming out of the rocks, but. little five-ton bridge I'm not sure how fast they will go in the commander. Just kind of getting used to it, I would imagine. be curious to hear how the ride is if it's super smooth in those things or a little bumpy or what out here walking, walking their puppies. We tried to come in here last night from the west, I guess it would be. Oh, uh, we are on LaSalle Loop Road, which is now all paved, so that was pretty boring. And then uh, we hooked up with some highway where this guy was telling us, you know, it's kind of a lost highway type of deal, but 
he said that hooks up with this Cocapelli Trail that goes all the way to Frutok. I don't know if that's Frutok, Colorado or Utah. But uh, we got blocked out by snow. We made it through, I don't know, probably five, six miles of patchy snow. And uh, finally got a little, little too much where we couldn't see, you know, it's probably half a mile at least. That's all we could see was snow banks on the road <laughs> we decided that was about all we wanted so we came down through Castle Valley on the highway hit 128 and ran the five miles east to Onion Creek Trail here I think that's the minerals that are going into the water Cause it'll get a bit loud up here. It's a real slow climb up the creek and then eventually you get to there's like uh, you get to the foothills of top of the world mesa i think they call them mesas out here but um so then you're driving along the foothills of it straight below the 1500 foot or whatever it is drop that we are up on the day before and jangling over so it's kind of neat tie it all together. Yep, now it gets a little ripe. We've got two more too. That's awesome. Ranchers are up here. Okay. Yeah, rugged place to ranch. Hey, puppy. I did gear down the counter shaft sprocket to a 14 from a 15 and uh, yeah I don't know that I'll ever change it back. I mean it can go down the road at 70 you know with not a ton of fuss but you get over that and it starts vibing a little bit so 
I wouldn't do a long extended trip with the 14 in. The rear stock rear is a 46. I bought a 48 thinking I could go 14, 48, really gear it down, but uh, I'd have to add a couple links to my chain I found out. Didn't quite have enough adjustment. I don't know. I don't know why that's such a thrill, but it's pretty fun to blast it through the sippy hole. Uh, kids. I mean, you get really good traction in this red mud stuff. It's got some good binder in there. And so I'll just keep trolling along. If, as soon as we stop, then I start dusting everyone out. Nowhere, nowhere to turn off this trail, so just assume that everyone's having success. And as much fun as I am. Oh, that's how you hit them just right. Get that wheel up in the air so your boot don't get wet. Oh, dang. There was one yesterday that I did though. Eric and I were trying to blast through them, Willie and all that, and I did like, I think there was two of them. Hit the first one, just money. Thought, oh, I'll get back into it. Of course, my speed's way up. Popped a second one, all good, and then I come right for a huge overhanging house-sized boulder. Just licked my mirror off of it, saved it. Now the road kind of stays like this for a while and then you get back into it because you go up to the left here and you start picking your way through some of that but it's a ways I believe we've only gone eight miles in here I remember being a fairly long stretch five more miles with a nice channel out hard set up road <coughs> it's an attention getter
take a look down there. That looks pretty cool. Pretty sweet view down there. Dried up creek bed. Look at that hog's back. Another one, a big one. Man, that's beautiful country. Love to go hunting down there. Still hunting. I'm not going to walk the whole thing, but beautiful snow capped. Heck, I can just well, sit here and wait for them. I got nothing to do and all day to do it. Take a little break. Hope the bike doesn't fall over. Okay, now you can kind of see up there that vertical rock face. We get past these red rocks here as we keep going. And then we're able to drive like right along the face of that thing. And it's just constant washout. Woo, woo. Uh, maybe a two out of five difficulty. There wasn't really anything. Maybe a three in some spots, but it was really enjoyable. We did it last night on an in and back out, and uh, that was sweet. So, this is what we got. I mean, just one awesome view after the next. I'll hit you back.